All right, folks, good afternoon. Welcome to our 2014 West Virginia Strawberry Festival opening ceremonies. Um, I'm Bob Wines, former president of the Strawberry Festival. Uh, currently, I serve as the state director of fairs and festivals, starting a two-year term in uh, April as president of the state association. This is uh, home for me, so I'm glad to be back home this week and enjoying the festival. We hope you all are as well. Enough about me, let's uh, call upon our Bishop, uh, Craig Smith, for the opening uh, prayer. Thank you very much. I'd ask everyone to take off your hats and bow your heads in honor of our Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today, and we just ask you your touch and your blessing upon all that goes on here, Lord God. And and we're so thankful for this heritage that you've given us, Lord. This heritage that started in 1936 to honor all the strawberry growers in this area. We just, we're just so thankful for, for our community in Upshur County and all that we, we stay, try to stand for and, and be a light in, in our world, Lord God. And just as we honor our strawberry growers, we, we stop and we acknowledge and we honor you, Lord God. We, we honor you as our creator and we are thankful, Lord God. We're thankful for, for, for the life and the strength and the earth and its ability to grow crops, Lord God, to, to sustain us, Lord God, to give us the water that, that we drink and the air that we breathe, Lord God. We are thankful to you, God, for the children and the adults who organize, who participate, who will watch in all the activities this week, the activities that starting officially today and goes clear through next Sunday, Lord. Lord, we just are so thankful. And uh, once again, Lord, we declare you are Heavenly Father, and we are thankful. And just be with us and guide us and direct us in all things this week. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. And we'll now call upon now call upon our 2012 Strawberry Festival Queen, Erin Gibbon, for a beautiful song. Very nice. Thank you so much. All right. We'll now call upon uh, the mayor of the city of Buchanan, Kenny Davidson, uh, to give his official welcome. Uh, thank you, Bob. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be here at this particular time. Uh, we all know that this event, the State Strawberry Festival, is the shining moment for our community. It's the biggest event we have. A lot of people involved. Uh, the volunteers that uh, do this, the folks in the red shirt, not myself, but with, with uh, emblems on, when you see them, you thank them for all the work they do because it's, it's thankless and they spend a lot of time, they spend a whole year planning for this event and as soon as this is over with, they'll start planning for next year. And uh, give them a hand, please. And, and they're not all here, but you'll see them around town and they'll be dressed like these folks over here, most of them, and thank them when you get a chance to see them. Uh, you also see a lot of our city employees out and they, take, they pick up a lot of slack during this. 
uh, picking up garbage and sweeping the streets and uh, helping our, our police and so on, working with uh, security and safety for the parades. And, and they deserve uh, credit for that. And be sure to thank them for it because they, they really go out of their way to try and make this a great event. It's, uh, it's, I hope we have weather just like this <laughs> for the whole week because we won't have to worry about getting sunburned and we won't have to worry about getting rained on. This is great. Again, welcome to uh, Buchanan. Welcome to the West Virginia Strawberry Festival. Uh, I'd like to see sometime in the future this whole field full of people when we do this, but uh, uh, I appreciate you all being here today, and uh, thank you very much, and, and have a great time at the festival. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. We appreciate your welcome. We'll now call upon the President of the Epshire County Commission, J.C. Rafferty, to uh, give a welcome from the county. Thank you, yep. thank you very much. On behalf of the Upshur County Commission, Commissioners Donnie Tenney, Buddy Brady, and myself, I'd like to welcome you to this Strawberry Festival. As I stand here and in preparation for this uh, program that I, or speech I'm giving, I contemplated what did the first organizers, the very first Strawberry Festival, think about? Did they realize that what they were initiating would carry forward the generations it has. And the impact that a simple, a simple act of putting together a festival to honor strawberries and to bring the community together, they realized what they would inspire for generations to come. I don't know that they would have, but certainly we are the benefit of their efforts and their foresight and their community involvement and their concern for their community. And I know that this point we reached today in the Strawberry Festival, echoing Kenny, is the product of not any one person or two or three people. It's been the product of generations of Upshur County and Buchanan residents who have contributed their time and effort to the success of this Strawberry Festival. And imagine this when the first organizers of this festival initiated the festival, did they realize that at one point in time in the not too distant future, the Strawberry Festival will be recognized as one of the best small town festivals in the United States. Think about that. It shows that from little seeds of involvement and effort and love of community and love of tradition that success can reign high. So again, on behalf of the county, I welcome you here. I welcome you to our festival. I know it is the best that the canon and the county of Upshur have to offer. And we uh, hope you do enjoy the next seven, eight days. And uh, as the mayor indicated, I hope the rain and the weather uh, does hold off, but remember, it's always sunny in Buchanan and up for County. Very good. Thank you, JC. Appreciate that. All right, we'll now call upon the festival president, Charlene Eubank. Uh, she has a couple of announcements. She wants to introduce the court, and then she's going to um, look at the photogenic winners, read a list of those. So, Charlena, come on up. Okay, first of all, I'd like to welcome everyone at, to the West Virginia Strawberry Festival for 2014. For those of you who've never been here before, we actually do have eight fun-filled days of activities. Today, you will see the Horse and Carriage Parade at 4 o'clock, our coronation of the Queen and King-elect this evening at 7. Then on Monday and Tuesday, there's different things going on throughout town and with the Carnival Opens, which I know that's a favorite event for all the kids. Wednesday, we're going to have a cruise in this year and it will entail part of Main Street as well as the end of Spring Street and the antique cars will be on display as well as the 50s band. Thursday will be a children's day and we have things like a diaper derby and strawberry blonde contests and the court, they're gonna to be touring around town and thinking and just visiting everyone and then that evening we're gonna have 
a Junior Royalty Parade, and then another band that evening and Strawberry Idol. And then Friday, we get some big events, including the Strawberry Auction. And so I hope you're here for all the events. But if, and if you can't make it all week, at least be here on Saturday for the Grand Feature Parade, which will be down Strawberry Lane at 1 o'clock. Now, we have some awards that are given each year. And one thing that it hasn't happened in the last few years, we have always had the theme of West Virginia Strawberry Fe Festival, an exciting family tradition. This year, we had a theme contest. And we had a couple hundred themes submitted, whether it be via Facebook, online, through email, or word of mouth, or calling festival office, or the chamber. And we actually, as a board, chose a theme. And this year's West Virginia Strawberry Festival theme is Old Traditions and New Beginnings. And for all of us on the board, this has really held true, as well as this community this year. So our 2014 theme winner is actually Akira Gold. And she will receive her plaque from the 2014 Queen-elect Nicole Green and the team. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and team queen, Dominique Collins. The Strawberry Festival also each year, as a board of directors, we pick a Spirit Award winner. The Spirit Award winner is someone from our community who gives wholeheartedly to the festival, whether at one point they were on the board or they're not on the board, but they actually, their life revolves around the festival during festival time and throughout the year. And this year's winner is no different. So I'm gonna read you a little bit about the winner and then she will receive her award as well. The 2014 West Virginia Strawberry Festival Spirit Award winner is Jane Smith. She was born and raised in Preston County. Mrs. Smith has volunteered with the Upshur County EMS as an EMT and was a member of the Buchanan Choral Society, was Dr. Joseph Reed's office nurse and sings in the Chapel Hill Choir. Mrs. Smith loves anything involving children, including directing Bible school and children's plays at Chapel Hill, spending more than 20 years as our minor court director and making the sashes for the Sweetest Berry judges for the festival. She worked with Jenkins Ford to ensure that every first grade child would have the opportunity to be a member of the minor court. Jane was a member of the West Virginia Strawberry Festival Board of Directors for 22 years, serving as our first vice president for a year and treasurer for three. Mrs. Smith has given thousands of hours to the festival over the years, as well as to the Upshur County community. The West Virginia Strawberry Festival is honored to have Jane Smith as the 2014 West Virginia Strawberry Festival Spirit Award winner. take a little bit of time and introduce you to our court for this year. We have the 2014 Queen-elect Nicole Nakasha Green and she's from Charleston. Our King-elect is actually Steve Butler. He couldn't be with us today because his son is actually graduate, well, graduated this morning from West Virginia Wesleyan. And then the 2014 Teen Queen is Dominique Collins and she's from Calhoun. 2014 Junior Royalty Queen, Megan Weaver. Our Hostess Princess is Amy Levesey. And Junior Hostess Princess, Mackenzie Tenney. Okay. Now we have a few more awards to give out. I don't know if we have any of these kids here, but this year we actually had a photo contest and you could submit pictures of your children and they could be anywhere from zero to 13. So this year I'm gonna start with the boys winners. And if you are here, if you wanna come up to the front, that's great. Okay, in the 19 to 24 months, first place Connor Markle from Buchanan, Second place, Thomas Wilson Croft from Buchanan. And there was a tie with Brody Hall from French Creek. Okay, next division. 37 to 47 
months. Brecken Triplett Buchanan? He's here. <laughs> And four and five division, first place Branson Triplett and Brooks Triplett. Second place, Mikey Miller and Brody Reed. And your six and seven degree, Michael Kimball from Buchanan. Female winners. Your zero to three months first place is Charlotte Helmick from Buchanan. Second place, Emily Kincaid from Buchanan. Third place, Hannah Bowers and Molly Manspeaker from Buchanan. Okay. And she's here. Good. <laughs> And by the way, the winners are actually, the first place winners are invited to be in Thursday night's Junior Royalty Parade, providing they have their own vehicle. <laughs> okay. Yay, we have one. <laughs> okay, your four to six months. First place, Hayden Heston from Buchanan. Second place, Naomi Hibbs from Buchanan. Third place, Morgan Rowian from Buchanan. Okay. Seven to 12 months. First place, Gabrielle Perrine, Buchanan. Second place, Alexandria Kimball, Buchanan. Do we have her here? Good. Okay, our 13 to 18 months. Brian Triplett from Buchanan. And second place is Aubrey Reed and Megan Wilson, Bloss Creek. 19 to 24 months, Gracie Queen from Weston. 25 to 30 months, first place is McKinley Duke from Buchanan. And second place, Kaya Roby from, Rock from French Creek, sorry. Thirty-one to thirty-six months, Ella Whitehair from Buchanan. Thirty-seven to forty-seven months, Nevea Wilson from Rock Cave. Four to five-year-old Haley Bowers from Buchanan. Second place, Kylie Hall from French Creek. Third place, Kiara Howes from Buchanan and Nevea Riffle from Buchanan. You have any of them here? In our nine to 10 year old group, Alexis Fultz from French Creek is your first place winner. And your 10 11 is Stephanie Santilli from Philippi. Okay. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, it's time now to uh, light the flame. We have our official flame lighting. Assisted by some of our board members over here, we'll call upon Nicole Green to assist us in lighting the official flame. This flame will stay lit during the entire festival. Uh, we will be moving it up to the courthouse plaza uh, later today, but it'll be uh, up there and it should be burning for the entire week, just like the Olympic flame. There's some great stories about this flame over the years, isn't there, Kenny? <laughs> bits and pieces of it and uh... <laughs> I don't think it's lit yet Perfect photo op, regardless if it lights or not. <laughs> I 
All right, Nicole, good job. Good job, whether, whether we got the light or not. Let's hear it for Nicole. We guarantee you we will have it lit before the end of the day, one way or the other. All right, we'll now call upon Aaron once again to present a song for us. Thank you so much, Aaron. Certainly appreciate that. All right, we'll uh, now ask our uh, Bishop, Craig Smith, to uh, give us a closing prayer. Thank you very much. Well, once again, would we bow our head in prayer? Father, we're just so great, grateful, Lord God. Once again, we, we give you honor and we acknowledge you and our need for you this week, but, and we're thankful. But we move on and we ask you, Lord God, for your presence. We, we need your presence, Lord God, as we go out through this week. We just ask it to be in each one of us individually, in, in every, in every uh, event, in every, uh, every part of the community and the county, Lord God, to, to, keep, uh, to keep people safe, Lord God. Ask your protecting hand, whether it be on Main Street or whether it be uh, down at the city park, wherever it would be, we, we ask your uh, hedge of protection to be around each one of us, Lord God. When we ask you, Lord, that your, your blessing would be upon this week. To bless all, all things, Lord. All things. That, and, and be with each one. And we'd also ask you, Father, to give us good weather. The mayor and, and the councilman mentioned good weather. And I remember a, a Bible verse, and I believe it is in, in James 5, 5, 17. It says, Elijah prayed that it wouldn't pray, and it didn't rain, it didn't rain on the earth uh, for the space of three and a half years. We're not asking for three and a half years, but we are asking for the outside, all the outside events this week, Father. We're petitioning you to give us good weather, Father. In Christ's wonderful name we do pray, and that name would be the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. Well, folks, this concludes our uh, opening ceremonies. We encourage you to uh, take part in our activities throughout this week. There's something for all ages, folks, and we want you to get involved. Thank you all. <laughs>